single Naga Siren. Not the Illusion Posse of Naga Siren. Dude, they are on top of Gardic. Please get first blood so I don't have to stress out about it for the rest of this laning stage. They get it. Panda picking it up. He'll TP on out of here. Huge, huge find. It was just at the tail end of the Arctic Burn as well. Oh, Earthshaker. I'm watching it. Panda. Going in pretty deep, but looks like they might turn actually on the Nature's Prophet. Try to dodge away on Moose. A nice hit. And with the enchant totem, they help themselves get the kill on nature's panda goes down oh, once more. Oh, a dive? Next up, Knight doesn't have any other spells. They are going to Fisher block him. Moves well done, right place, right time. Oh, but I didn't find an enemy. Take their stacks. Oh, panda. Yeah, is going to get rooted up. He'll use the ult. He doesn't take too much damage on Lumpy. Echo doesn't catch many of the creeps in the hard camp, so they won't actually get the kill. And now they turn around with a heal from the Coddle. So well done. They keep their Nature's Prophet alive. I think they even get some of the creeps. Right on the other side. Oh boy. Is this going to be enough? No, the Sprout. The Sprout saved him in the midst of the curse. And then Gardic still falls. Of okay. course, the Nagasaren loves that. And looks like we are trying to initiate here on the Ember Spirit, but they'll use the ulti from Gardic, try to get Lumpy away from this one. Dumps remnants around, but oh no, because possibly finding Gardic here. A nice route with the dust as well. Setting down the remnant. Maybe he'll TP out and get back into this fight later. Silence stump on the White Weaver. Gotta be careful here. Taking a lot of damage with the silence onto this Earthshaker. Not able to get the ulti off. He's actually chasing on because he wants to kill him before the rest of the fight continues, but it looks like they'll just take the kill on Vitaly. They've already eliminated Gardic, and even though he does have the blink, Earthshaker won't go in for a slam. And they're actually all running away, man. Boom. They want to take this on their vision, on their terms. They're gonna start hitting creeps. Break the smoke. Silence up. They get the echo in onto this Lycan, but he's gonna jet the ulti off. They use the Wyvern Curse. They try to get to him first, but it looks like they'll still get the kill with the Crypt Swarm. Unfortunately, Moose trying to get away. He's still getting bit by the bug. It's a bit hard for him. Now he's trying to get away from this one as well, using the finger, trying to get everybody out of here. But he's just standing his ground and sucking all the mana to the EMP. It hits too hard. Pig finally forced to use the ulti himself. He's gonna just TP out. Bulls have been battled back for sure. We'll see how many other they can collect here. Looks like with the silence, they'll take down the Wyvern. It'll be a one for one trade, but. You know, boom. They're still happy with this. Even though they did lose the like, and there was so many spells. All right, guys. I don't know how much I believe this. Do you guys believe this? 1.2 to 4. That seems like a lot here. It looks like they are gonna get the Wyvern curse. See, the odds are changing already. They do take down the Wyvern, and I don't think the curse is enough, but Lumpy popping the BKB wants to try to get at least one return kill, but Illich is a monster, man. He's just chasing everybody down. Lumpy getting onto the high ground. Illich ain't gonna stop. You think he'll end here? It's your base. It's his base. He's trying to chase after Vitaly, but he'll just send the support lion or support wolves down after him. They won't get that last kill, but they didn't end up taking the Earth I mean, you would borderline have to TP here. And there's a huge TP for Panda. He's just going to stop everybody from moving in their tracks. A huge fissure might separate this fight exactly as they need to, but the Lotus down. He's still surviving on Panda. And a huge EMP. They had to stop it with the ulti from Guardian, but he's already dead. Can they take the rest of this fight without their Wyvern? I'm unsure. Knight will fall finally, but not before Moose also hits the bed. And they'll take out the Death Prophet as well. The BKBs are too much. Spike's not able to stop this one. They started the fight well without their Naga Siren, and you can see... They just were not up to the task. And now Pig might fall as well. Just a little bit more. And it's four gone. And with a buyback of night only, you certainly will take that. All of the illusions, and then you're able to dispel everything. Get right back into the fight. Two heroes are down. I mean, Illich is showing here without an Aegis. Maybe they can actually kill him. He has a BKB. He has a Mantel. He'll use the Manta first, trying to turn around with the ulti right on top of Vitaly, getting the Lotus Orb for a little bit more protection. Now he has to pop the BKB to try to get away from here. But Moose waiting with the Shadow Amulet only, trying to find the right time to move on in. But he's going to get hit by the Ignis Vat. He's trying to run away once more. They'll have to use the song, want to reset maybe, and try to kill this Lycan. Ulti is about to run out. It could be the perfect time here. Jumping in on Picasso as well. The Echo Slam hits on the two of them. The damage, it's not enough. No, it is. They finally get the kill. Picasso trying to turn around this one, but the ulti, they could end up losing their Nature's Prophet for free. But do they have the follow-up here? Another net connects. Pink has to get it 
off of himself and with the fissure is it enough to protect him the heal coming in from the coddle it's not enough they lose the lichen as well and that was a buyback now dieback of panda runes yo but will that hurt? They don't have a Nature's Prophet in right now. A huge crit on the Death Prophet. They'll turn onto this Ember instead. He wants out. He doesn't want to get a kill. He wants to live, but they'll stun up the Lion once more. He's out of here. Huge Remnant over. Gets the root on the Lycan. Can they continue for more? Blink forward. Oh, Guard, if you really wanted to get that ulti, they won't be able to. Instead, they turn Silenced up. Pump the BKB. Trying to get out of here right now on the Ember. Gets onto the other side, but they still lose the Wyvern for this one. Lumpy TP's away. Vitaly in a bit of danger. It looks like the TP will hit. He tries to get the taunts. He will get it. Ignis had his... It connects. Can he get away from this one? No. He's getting pulled all the way back. The Lotus. It won't be enough to save him here. Goes down on Vitaly. And he has no buyback for 200 gold. Ooh, Panda trying to get some vision down. He gets caught out by Vitaly immediately. Has the Lotus. We'll get some spells off if he wants to. Even using the Trickster Scout to try to help with the invisibility, but he's just going to get nuked on down. He does not have buyback for 26 seconds, so he will soon. Vitaly already used the ulti. He's going to go into the Roshan pit. Coddle going to start off with some vision, likely trying to get closer to it. Let's come through. Doesn't connect on Roshan just yet. They are ready to encroach the fight. A big last blast is about to hit. Just giving some vision. They still want to use the rest of this ulti on the Naga's Iron to try to get Roshan. Grimmits are going to get scattered out far and wide. Really want to get some vision out of it. They silence up and the Hex on Vitaly. He's going to try to back out a second here. They do use the buyback of the Nature's Prophet. There's no more exorcism. Vitaly, is he vulnerable? Because I think that the Nature's Prophet is actually the one in danger here. A big silence hit onto the Ember Spirit. He gets stunned up. Is he going to be able to? No, he just dies. He doesn't press the BKB. He'll get the kill on the Nature's Prophet. It's a dieback for him, but they're also stuck on because They had the vision, but moves. He gets crit on down once more before he can press his ulti. That was his dive back and he's just out of here like they're trying to get right up top of because he gets killed but not before he took down the naga siren himself lumpy is still alive in this one it seems a slight advantage for bulls right now the overgrowth to find him was nice and let's try to find somebody else here looks like a run onto the back line for the ember but on the front Vitaly's the one in danger they'll heal him up no more physical damage but Oh, uh, I think once he comes out of here, he's hexed up. They use the Ignis Fattest. They're going to buy back on the Naga's Iron, actually getting back into this one. Has a TP. They lock down two in the same row, but can they kill the Lion first? This will open up the Naga game for sure. Using the Son of the Siren, they'll get the kill on the, uh, the Lion. Where is Lycan? I think Lycan, he's all the way out of here. So they won't grab him, but it does mean Weaver still out for 20 seconds. Can they turn this one into a Roshan before the Weaver is back in the fight? A lot left to give in the tank. But not in the form of Zolti. Zolti is out. Jump through. Using the Shiva's card. Still have Aegis on the Naga Siren. You can get the first kill on Illich here, but he's able to get four stats away. They have the double Ignis and the, the Ember Spear. He's in danger. He's able to let the cheese pop and the refresher and the BKB as well. He's alive, but can he get more done in this fight with a double Ignis in? It's a nice song from the Naga Siren, getting everybody a chance to get away, but you know you want to kill on this high ground. You know with the Aegis of Naga, you want to get these free kills. They'll get on top of the Weaver for a second here, but now he's locked in. The Sprout, he can't get out of this one. Does use the illusions to try to get himself away from this one, and that'll be the first life. Aegis out, no more amp damage on Pekaz, but do they need to stick in on this one? Another Sprout keeps him in play. Even using a BKB now on Panda, trying to get out of this one. And the TP is successful. The rest of the team wasn't even around. He just zoomed in and got a kill and went. Now they turn into the mid lane. Have the silence up and the hex. Ailish able to pop the BKB. Gets the mantle off as well. Turn around with a big amount of life steal. But they kite it back right now on Bulls. Stuck on Vitaly. Son is going to get used. It's still a BKB from Panda. Using the mirror image, try to get away from this one. And he's leash on the Naga. He can't get away. He's stuck in this one. Has he... Has he gotten himself killed? Oh my lord! The damage from Illich! Just crits down the Naga Star and does have a buyback to get back into this one. They're gonna use a refresher on Nog or on the Wyvern for a huge TP or a blink away. But can they keep this fight going the way they want to? Lumpy using the refresher himself, getting all the charges back on his ulti, but on the other side, I mean I think that this Naga might be in a bit of danger. 
Gonna get leashed up again. There's no force out. They use the Echo this time. They eliminate Panda from this fight, but they don't take much damage on the Weaver. Finally, Bike is able to get away from this one with no more Sprouts. It's actually a huge jump for him. What's happening on the backside here? We got the Lion. They have the Nullifier as well, so no more gimmicks with that Eon disc. Unfortunately, Vitaly, he needs a gimmick. He needs something to get him out of here. He'll get an XP root, but that's not enough. They buy back on the Panda. He'll get a nice Sprout, and then he gets the roots on everybody under the Ignis Fattest. Do they have the damage still, though? Gotta be careful on Pike. Uses the ulti. They've locked down the Weaver. Can they turn this one around after, though? Trying to get the right Fissure. He'll stun him up in the midst of it, and Picasso goes down. He's got buyback, but Panda, he's about to die himself. They still have buyback on three heroes here, although they used the buyback on the Naga Siren. So you may count it still a good fight for Boom, but for Bulls, they held. So had they locked him down, I mean, 4,000 damage. That's a lot. But to jump through, they just get the immediate lockdown on the Nation's Prophet. Line is on the backside, able to get a stun. They pop the BKB on Panda as well. He uses the ulti. At least the roots will help out, but he is going to die here. Ember's on the backside. Where did that Wyvern ulti hit? It's into the mid lane. It's onto the Weaver. He's stunned up now with the second use of the Wyvern ulti. But as it ends, can it keep him up? The ulti from the Earthshaker. Do they have enough to keep him? The Satanic isn't going to be enough. No, he's turning around on it. He's got enough hits. He's turning around with Elish as well. The Saw is needed. They couldn't kill him. He was down to all 10 HP. And now all of a sudden, Gardic dies. Pike trying to get away here, uses a swift point to get out, even though he has the Aegis, he wants to evacuate. They've used so much. Oh boy, they jump onto the Weaver. Maybe they can actually kill him here. He's hexed up, but they don't have the stun. I don't see an Echo coming in anytime soon. They had the sounds as well as able to get out of this one, even with the Nullifier. It was a good chance, but the Ignis fan is once again locking everybody in. It's a nice BKB from Vitaly. At least trying to get anybody killed, but with a huge giant ram. I mean, this Naga Siren is gigantic. Do you actually have the damage for this one? Still slept up. Using the Nullifier onto the line, but we'll just clear all the illusions with his mana drain and the AoE Hex. And here it is. Echo onto the other side. Panda trying to get away from this one. He has the BKB still to use, but they don't want it just yet. The BKB from Lumpy jumping in onto this dangerous problem, but he cursed himself. The Lotus Orb, it'll get him away, and he somehow denies himself. I don't even want to know how that happened. They're turning back onto the Ember Spirit. He may get away from this one. Yes, he gets tail killed. And because he's just skating around this engager, trying to find Pike on the backside. Not able to go down to the low ground, though. So the mirror image, no, the four staff. He can free path. The Hex, that's not enough, he dies! No buyback for five minutes on the Naga Siren. Is this Picasso's game now? Have they done it on Boom? It's a 21,000 net worth lead. They bought back on the Ember Spirit already. They have no buybacks on the hero sitting in the fountain. It is currently a 4v2. The Ancient is already attacked. One card is slowly starting the siege. How can they hold this one by themselves? I don't know if they can. A lot of damage from Prakash jumping in with the Hex first. Sure, they have the lockdown right now by themselves, but they have the damage. They need to kill the supporting cast, sure. But even then, he's getting away. Vitaly's taking too much damage. He'll go down first. Now they'll look back at the Ember Spirit. He's gonna give his heart out, but it's not enough. GG, game number three. Going to Boom Esports.